I'm with Dave Sutton, Product Manager for Automation Solutions at Schneider Electric. Dave, Schneider Electric has introduced a high availability range for its M580 EPAC. Can you tell us a little bit about the sorts of uses there are for those sorts of hot standby solutions? Yes, absolutely. Uh, high availability systems, they're generally used where there is a need for continuous operation. So some examples might be where there's an absolute need to make sure that the plant and the production runs uninterrupted. Uh, power generation is a great example where we must absolutely ensure there's no power outages. Uh, another example of where high availability systems are used would be where there's a significant cost in unscheduled downtime. So the return on the investment of a high availability control system uh, far outweighs the, uh, the unscheduled cost of lost production. So Dave, you have a demonstration of this new solution here at Drives and Controls 2016. Can you talk us through how the solution works? Absolutely. Let's go and take a look. We've deployed open Ethernet IP technologies now for a number of years at device level. What we as Schneider have done in recent times is taken that technology and deployed it into the heart of the PLC. Of course, with open technologies comes cybersecurity risks. And what we have with the M580 EPAC is Achilles Level 2, world recognized standard for cybersecurity. What we have on the wall in front of us here is an arrangement of industrial control equipment which is headed up by a hot standby pair of M580 processors. We have a very flexible architecture downstream below which is using Ethernet IP. We have very flexible ability to mix fiber optic cable, copper cable. We can even introduce wireless connectivity if we need to, rack I.O. We're also able to bring in other devices such as the Altivar process drive, such as distributed I.O., motor manager technology, and legacy connection down to Profibus devices downstream. We have a pair, a primary, and a secondary server. They're interconnected here on this yellow cable which is a high-speed connection. If and when there's a fault on the primary, the secondary is ready to take over control in a very bumpless, instantaneous manner. So using this wireless push button, I'm going to force a fault on our primary server. What we will see is obviously the primary going down, but the secondary server will pick up immediately and instantaneously. And the easiest way to visualize that is if we look here at this rack, we have a little Mexican wave of LEDs, outputs which are controlling elements in the plant, you might expect to see a bit of a glitch as we move from primary to secondary. Uh, that's the challenge really, see if you can spot the glitch as we make the switch. We see that the, uh, the LEDs on the front of the secondary now has moved across to primary. When our previous primary repowers up, it'll recognise there's a primary in circuit, so it'll reset itself as the backup processor. And at the point of the transition, the LEDs, the Mexican wave, continues operation in an uninterrupted, bumpless transfer. One of the great things about the M580 hot standby architecture, it's been very much designed from the ground up in terms of its hot standby capability. So in here we have an all-in-one device. Legacy alternative systems on the marketplace would see different components. You'd have a processor, a core processor for the redundancy, and a third module which would handle the communications. All this is now integrated into one neat unit which very much minimizes the engineering and the complexity of the system.